Hi, I'm Matt. Will. Will, nice to meet you. Now, I'm going to do a bit of a card trick here for you, Will, and this is going to be one of the classics of magic. Uh, you're going to pick a card from this deck, and then using my magical brain power, you're watching the cards very closely. I that, love that's you. very important. Uh, I'm going to work out which card you've picked using solely my brain and maybe a little bit of maths. Uh, and to do this, I'm not going to use the whole deck. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm actually going to use 27 cards. Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, 27 is one of my favorite numbers uh, among, among several. Uh, you wouldn't know why 27 is one of my favorite numbers. I've got no idea. Uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. It's because it's a, uh, it's a cube number. I'm a big fan of cube numbers. Uh, and this is actually 27. The trick is not. This is, this is genuinely 27 cards. And you'll see in a moment uh, that it definitely is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give these a bit of a mashup. And then I'm going to spread them out on here. And you can uh, move them around a bit if you want. And you can do whatever process you're happy with to pick one of these cards. I'm going to look away. Okay. And once you've picked one, uh, look at it. Remember it. Yeah. That's, that's particularly important. Uh, and then uh, show everyone else. Show the whole audience. And uh, no, one, no one call out what it is. Uh, and then once you're happy, everyone's seen it, and you know what it is, put it back in there, mash it back up, and then I'll open my eyes. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Off you go. All right. You got one? Yeah. Okay, show everyone. Make sure you know what it is. And put it back in again. Nice. Is it back in? Is, yeah, is it hidden? Enough. It's hidden? Yep. Yeah. Good. Okay, excellent. And do you want to move them? Are you happy they're, they're shuffled? Um, I'll, I'll shuffle. Yeah, you're a thorough kind of guy. I noticed that. Okay. So you don't even know where your card is now? Uh, no. No, but you're remembering it? Yes. Good. So far, so good. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to find your card um, very, very carefully. And the way I'm going to do that, uh, actually, I'm going to start putting them out into three piles, right? Watch very closely. See if you can spot where your card is. Oh, and uh, out of curiosity, what was your favorite number from 1 uh, to 27? 8. 8. Any particular reason? Uh, I've never it's really a, thought about it. It's a cube number yeah, as well. Yeah. I like that. That's yeah, good. I guess so. That works. Okay, hey, it's all about the cubes today. Excellent. If only your deck had 64 cards. Okay, uh, I've now put them in three piles. Uh, which pile was your card? Uh, you were one. watching? Good, yes, good. I was. Uh, now, what I was doing is, uh, I'll be honest, I'm not actually psychic. What I can do, though, is I'm very good at memorizing cards. So I memorized, as I was putting them out, which nine cards went into each pile. And when you pointed at that pile, I now know there's a one... Well, there's nine possible cards, one of which must be yours. And in theory, three of those will be in each of these piles. Which one's it in? Uh, that one over there. Yeah. So now I should know one in three what your card was. And if I do it one last time, I should be able to narrow this in to one in one. If I'm paying very close attention. Okay, which pile is your card in? A bit of one. Cool. Okay. Now, uh, now I'm gonna have to come even, uh, you know, uh, come clean here. I actually I wasn't memorizing the cards. In, okay. in fact, I was paying very little attention to them. Uh, but I had done something very interesting, and uh, you can tell me now what your card was. What was it? It was the King of Diamonds. The King of Diamonds. Excellent. Yes. And uh, what was your favorite number? Eight. Eight. Look at this. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the eighth card is the, is the King, King of Diamonds. Diamonds. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now this trick uh, is called the 27 card trick and I first came across this uh, bit of magic in an old book from the 1950s and it described how to do this card trick and almost straight away this became my favorite card trick. And after a while I, I looked into it and saw that, that the way it works uses some very clever bits of uh, some numbers and a little bit of calculation. So uh, I'm going to show you how the trick works. Uh, I'm not going to explain all the maths behind it, but I will tell you what you can do if you wish to work it out. Now the way the trick works is you start with 27 cards. It's a cube number for a very important reason. Uh, and you get your volunteer to pick one of these at random. So uh, let's just do the trick now with um, the five of hearts. So they pick a card, they look at the card, they put it back in somewhere, and they shuffle it up. So now there's, there's a card somewhere at a certain position, uh, but you don't know what it is, and you don't know where it is. However, once you start putting it down into uh, three piles, you get them to watch very closely, and eventually uh, they will be able to point out which pile, oh, there it is, it's in the first one. They will uh, be able to point out which pile it was in. So in this particular case, you would ask them where it is. They would say it's in the first pile. You then pick them up. And as you pick them up, you've got a choice. Uh, so these two, it doesn't matter what's in these, right? So that 
a stack of cards, and that stack of cards are completely, or we're indifferent to these. The stack that their card is in, you could either put that on top, you could put it in the middle, or you could put it underneath. You've got three options when you stack the cards back together. So this time, let's put it uh, on, the, on the top, let's say. Now, when you deal them out again, at the end of the second round, you've got another choice of top, middle, bottom. And after the third round, you'll have a third choice of top, middle, bottom. And if you've got three options and you get to choose from them uh, three times, that's a total of 27 different combinations of top, middle, bottom as you go through this trick. Uh, and it's no coincidence that's the same number as the number of cards because each of those different combinations matches up with a different finishing position. So uh, if you did top, top, bottom, it would put it in one particular place. In fact, the trick I did before, I put it, uh, it was middle, bottom, top, and that put it into the eighth position. And uh, I've just learnt, for every number someone gives me, what combination of top, middle, bottom will put their chosen card in that position. Now you can, you can just memorise those combinations, or you can look into the maths behind why they work. And I actually don't bother memorising them. You can use base three numbers, or what's called ternary, to calculate what combination of top, middle, bottom will put the card into any given position. And uh, if you want to investigate it, uh, do the trick uh, by yourself a few times, maybe turn a card over, keep track of where it's going, and try different amounts of top, middle, and bottom, and see where it ends up at the end of the trick. And after a while, you'll work out the combinations, and if you take a close look at the combinations, you can see uh, the, the base three patterns behind them. And uh, while this may seem like a uh, interesting but maybe overly elaborate maths card trick, uh, the maths behind it is alarmingly useful because uh, this ability to take something at one position and put it to any other position just by dealing and, and restacking is pretty much what uh, computer hard drives do when they're moving information. If they want to get a, a bit of information from one place to another, they do the same process. But instead of doing uh, three piles and using base three ternary numbers, they do it with uh, effectively two piles and use base two binary numbers. Uh, and so it's both a lovely bit of maths and an impressive card trick. And on top of that, it's actually very useful maths. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, that's why the 27 card trick is my all-time favorite bit of mathematical magic. For further teaching resources, brilliant videos, and of course, more amazing mathematics, go along to mathematicalmagic.com. <laughs>